Today we're going to build this really cool dungeon level based on a tutorial that we found over at awesometoots.com using a couple assets from Filebase and the HDRP pipeline. Hey everyone, this is Al over at GameDevHQ.com. Like and subscribe to this video, share it with your friends, check out our other videos and tutorials on our site, and be sure to log in to GameDevHQ and sign up for a free account to see how you can become a greater game developer. So today, we're actually going to be working in conjunction with the guys over at Awesome Toots, Fahir over there, who does an amazing job and creates all these amazing tutorials. We're going to be working in conjunction with him, and uh, we found this one particular tutorial called Pumpkins and Goblins. And on there, he has this level where a pumpkin kind of rolls through in the entire scene and gets these gates of hell. And I kind of took inspiration with that and said, well, you know, if I could redesign that concept, if I can redesign that level, what would it look like? And so this is kind of what I came up with. And so in this tutorial series, we're going to show you the level design. And then once we finish with the level design, hop on over to Fahir's channel and see how you actually build the game. He shows you how to code it and develop it from start to finish. Now, what are we going to be using to build this level? Well, we're going to, of course, use our file base assets because, dang, we paid a lot of money for that. And on top of that, we're going to use the HDRP pipeline. Now, honestly, I was a little nervous about diving into the HDRP pipeline. But after seeing that great tutorial by Brackies showing how the HDR pipeline is used, I decided to take a chance and boy, was I pleasantly surprised by the results. You're going to learn a couple things about the HDR pipeline from me, but if you want a quick, brief, awesome video that shows you exactly how to do it, jump on over to Bracky's channel here and check it out. So on this particular tutorial, we're going to do the quick and dirty level design. We're going to build the walls, we're going to build the floors, we're going to build all the elements in here and show you how you can use our assets to quickly assemble a level inside of Unity. Now, if you're following the Brackies tutorial, um, which, you know, you don't really need to rehash everything, but just uh, overall, uh, you're going to want to make sure you go to your show preview package and you're going to want to download a couple things right away, specifically your high definition pipeline um, and bring that into Unity. So once you install your HDR pipeline, you need to go and hit create, go to render, and create a high definition render pipeline asset. And that will create this right here. And then inside of your window rendering, where is that? Edit, edit project settings, you're going to want to drop this pipeline into here. And if you do those three things, uh, initially before you start anything. So start with a clean project using a 3D, drop that in there, you should be set to go. Um, now that we've had that dropped in, um, we could start building in our scene. So how did I build in this scene? Uh, real easy. I went to game object, create 3D object, and I created some planes. And we're just going to go ahead and reset this plane, uh, focus it in on the center. And with your HDR pipeline, I just started bringing in um, assets and started dropping them in from GDHQ. So I started off with my stone material and I dropped that in. And look at the tessellation factor right there. I mean, it literally looks like it's jumping out. And you could see like the normal map and the height map. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Um, Let's see, you can even increase the height. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, it looks so good. Um, really, really just, oh, I, I can't even describe how cool that looks. You know, from, from this angle, it looks like it's just jutting right out of the ground. So I'm going to call this floor, and I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to press the V button, and it's going to enable me to snap to the vertex. And I'm going to drag this up and snap to that vertex. I'll duplicate this again, snap to that vertex, and duplicate this the fourth time and snap to that vertex. Now, I just realized something. I put in the wrong thing. This is supposed to be the, the wall texture. So to adjust that, just go to my stone material and just go ahead and take this and drop this into this... Um, uh, 
material right here. So select these guys, drop that in, and there you go. Now we got a new stone material. Um, and then I'm just gonna take all four of these, I'm gonna duplicate this, I'm gonna hold the V button, and I'm gonna snap this to the side, and I'm just gonna duplicate it again, and snap this to the side right over here. All right, there we have our floor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create an empty null object. I'm gonna call this floor. And inside of here, I want to select this stone material and we will enable GPU instancing for this simply because the material is such a low polygon count that we can actually get away with it. Um, so then I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna duplicate this, I'm gonna raise this up, and you notice how like if I turn upside down, I could see through it because the normals are facing the other direction. Since I'm not gonna see on the opposite end, I'm just gonna flip these around and hold the command button, uh, I, I don't know what it is, I think it's like the alt button in the PC, uh, to make sure that it flips the other direction. And I'm gonna call this my ceiling. And then from here, I'm just gonna duplicate this particular um, segment. I'm gonna hold V, I'm gonna snap it to this point and then I'm gonna rotate this. Boom, there we go. And I just wanna make sure, I think this is actually upside down. And then with this, this is gonna be my wall section, right? So I'm gonna duplicate this again, go to my arrow point, and then select it, hold V, snap it over. Duplicate it again, and duplicate it again. So now we got these four walls, but these four walls are gonna use this material right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that in there. And I'm gonna put this all under one null object. Let me just reset real quick. This goes right here. And then I'm gonna take this wall object, uh, duplicate it, grab these assets. Oops. Hold V and I'm gonna snap it to this end. And then I'm just gonna rotate all of them. So now <clears throat> we have this four cornered wall. I'm just gonna take the ceiling now and bring it down. And there we go. We have our interior of our room. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my 3D elements. I'm gonna go to fantasy and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my medieval wall prefab. I'm just gonna drop that into scene. Let's go ahead and increase the size to where it's about the size of this entire wall structure. I'm gonna rotate this around. I'm gonna set this back here. So I'll take a V and I'll snap to this point. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna hold my V and snap these two together. Perfect. And I'm just gonna turn off this directional, uh, let's see, let me actually move this directional light this way. So I see what I can do. And that wall looks pretty good right there. And then I'm gonna go to my door three, I'm gonna to go to my prefab, I'm gonna take this and drop this in the scene. And I'm just gonna send this all the way back to the front of the room. And set this basically right here. <clears throat> and then let me center this up a little bit. I may make this door a little bit smaller uh, 
just so that it fits in right. All right, good stuff. All right, so then we have our doors right there. And then I want to create columns. So we got this great modular stone column pack right here. And if you look inside of this, uh, we got a bunch of different columns that you could choose from, either circular or square. So I'm going to choose, let's say, column one. And I'm just going to drop this into scene. And I'm going to increase the height, let's say, right here. And then we're going to go completely vertical. And I'm just going to start placing these columns into my scene. So now that I got those four, I'll duplicate those. Oops. Oh, next one, delete, move this column down here, select these four, duplicate this over here, and then I'll duplicate, oh, actually, I'll leave that there. And then we're going to need one of these broken pieces right here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to drop it underneath this one, and I'm going to reset my parameter. So it's the same as column one. And then I'm just going to move this over into the center-ish of the room. And I may only do uh, one, two, oops, I keep, uh, Selected. Let me move this up right here. And we'll duplicate this. Set this right here. Duplicate. Set right here. And then we'll go back to my main view. So we'll select these three. And I'm going to move these slightly over so that it looks pretty even in this level. So I think that's the spacing right there. All right. And then you could just select these and using the command, you know, al alternate them by like 90 degrees. And for this one, I may just flip upside down and set this to the ceiling. Okay. <clears throat> and then, once we get that done, uh, we have our... Let me duplicate this again. And I'm going to set this one right above this column, and I'll set this right above this column. So we'll have, um, oops, this one didn't duplicate. So let's go ahead and bring that back over here. We'll have these lined up. So they create this perfect little like uh, semblance of a broken column system inside this room. Then <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab my lamps. So in urban, go to gas lamp, and then there's the lamp with pillar. So yeah, let's drop in the lamp with pillar first because um, this makes a lot of sense. I'm just going to create an empty null object right here. I'm going to call this, um, let me just reset my position. This is called columns so i can just dump all these into here fold this up uh try to keep <laughs> somewhat nice and neat you know you get a little crazy sometimes so um try to keep it under control uh so i take my lamp column and i'm going to turn this sideways just like that and i'm going to start setting these um, right here at the edge of each of these crevices. So I'm just going to take one over here, set this over there, set that over there. 
duplicate and then drop in duplicate and then drop that in right there so how do those look those are looking pretty good and then I want to go ahead and add in uh, my little lamps so this lamp gas lamp right here I have a prefab of that I'll drop this in the scene and I'm going to set these on the columns so this one hanging in midair I'm just gonna set this right next to it bring this down a little bit and I'll have to add some sort of like sconce to it so that it um, it looks like it hangs better it's got a connection piece I, I didn't build one of those so we'll, we'll get that going as well um, take this and duplicate this over here and take this and duplicate this I think it's over here I could, nope it's on this side all right cool so those lights are in and then I'm going to take these lamps and set these on these pillars right here so we'll have one here and I'll put one over on this wall and then I'll take another one put it over here and I'll take this final one and put this against this wall right there very cool let me make sure that this looks good oh, it's just kind of floating in midair so let me get this on this wall Let's see. I'm guessing this one's floating too. Yep, it's floating. So set that right there. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I think we've got that pretty much filled out. So then what else did I put into this scene? I got that. I got the lamp, door, column, human, furniture, wooden barrel. I think this is one of the last things I need to put in. Um, so let me go into this section. I'm going to create a gas lamp object. And I'm going to call this uh, lights. Drop that in. And then I'm going to drop in my wooden barrel. And go ahead and press F. I'm going to increase the size of my wooden barrel so that it's a little more impressive and then just go ahead and start dropping these into our scene so I'll set one here and here here um, I'll set one behind here I'll set one over here and here two over here one right here two over here and there we go and there we are all right so let's go ahead and create an empty object reset and we'll call this wooden barrel very cool and so I think we got pretty much the basic layout of our level uh, done minus adding in the zombies so in the next tutorial we will go over setting up the lights, doing the lighting, um, using uh, the HDRP pipeline to create the lighting effects. We'll knock that all out in one tutorial and basically set this thing up ready to go. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you soon. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is Al over at GameDevHQ.com, and we are out of here. Special thanks to Fahir over at Awesome Toots and Brackies for all the amazing tutorials that you guys put up. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. We'll see you next week.